Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boys Frog Reactions here. Back with the first <laughs> video mm. of the season of the yes, FLR preseason. So let's go. We are back in action. Let's go. Preseason, six games, probably should be less. Long, I think it should be three. It used to be eight. Long now two. it's down to six. It definitely should be less than six. There's Maybe two. No need for six. Maybe two. I think three to four in that area. Two is a little low, but 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 it's still like six. Is Nobody even tries in the preseason. It, last night's game was so boring when, uh, like, oh. It was so boring. Other than some saves, but that's about it. So let's get so right into it. So starting off with the first game, we have most of our NHL players playing, including the new patch already, which was amazing. Max. We'll get to that. Patches, baby. Okay, ready? So starting it off in the first period. Okay. Jan Yankik. Already. First goal of the preseason. Zach McEwen and Kuleman score. Uh, getting the assist on that goal. Moving into the second period. Then, Matthew Nyes gets the first goal of the preseason on the board. Marner and Tanev picking up assists here. Chris Tanev, new leaf. Then, uh, Cole Reinhardt, first of the preseason. Amadio, former leaf. And Yannick picking up assists. And then Adam Gaudet, former leaf, scoring. Yannick and Reinhardt again picking up assists. It's 3 1 Ottawa heading into then, the third. Yes, none other than number 67. Oh, yeah. Patches, baby. Max Pacioretty. First goal of the year for him of the preseason. John Tavares and Riley picking up the assist, making the score 3 2. Ottawa. Then. then, Austin Matthews getting on the board. First goal of the preseason. Power play goal on a power play. John Tavares and Nylander picking up the assist there, making the score 3 3. Then, so it's tie game. None other than Patches gets another Again. goal. Max Pacioretty is on a tear. Number 67. It's so weird to see Pacioretty in a Leafs uniform. Especially wearing the number 67. Chris Tanev getting the assist there. Maybe that just means that he's going to break our curse spell. Then, Donovan Sabango. Sabarango, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Yenke and Ryan Hart. Getting the assist there. Nice. Then Cole Reinhardt. What is with this? Another guy? one. 2 1. Uh, uh, second goal of the year for him. Halliday picking up the assist. Then none other than William Nylander. John Tavares, and you guessed it, Patches. Oh, Patch yeah. ready with another assist. Just uh, keeping Tying up the, the points. Game. Then we headed to overtime, and unfortunately, it ended in misery. Carter Yamacha, first of the season. Halliday and Amadio picking up assists. It's a 6-5 loss here in Toronto. Nobody cares, but Patches, Pacioretty is probably going to make the some, opening day lineup. Some interesting notes I'd like to say is that Tavares coming out with three assists last uh, that first game. Tanev coming out with two assists in this game. Amazing. Pacioretty, two goals, one away from a Hattie. And the first one was tipped. The second one, he didn't even know he scored. It just slipped through the five. Patches is just a man, a myth, a legend. Pacioretty. 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 Max Pacioretty is probably going to be one of the greatest Leaf signings to a PTO. Yeah. This guy didn't even get a contract. Bro, he's on a PTO and he's going to get a contract after this. The only reason is probably because of the cap and they have to make room in the cap. Imagine Detroit got him. Because Detroit was in conversations. I'm so glad we got this guy. 
And the stats are 34 shots on goal for the Senators, 37 for the Leafs. The Leafs are 1 for 3 in the power play. We're trying to improve that this season, and Senators were shut down over 3 in the power play. 18 hits for the Senators, 25 for the Leafs, 16 blocks for the Senators, 8 for the Leafs, 27 giveaways for the Senators, and 21 for the Leafs. It's so weird to have Craig Berube behind the bench. Yes. It, it was such a new feeling seeing him behind the bench for the first time. It's like eating a chocolate bar for the first time. It tastes good and it looks weird, man. It's it's a strange feeling to say the least to watch Craig Berube and the coaching staff. Mark Savard is on the bench for the Toronto Maple Leafs. When have we ever said that? And some of his coworkers too. And like, Lane Lambert. Lane Lambert is a part of the Leafs coaching staff as an associate coach. And guess what? He was working with strategies with, you can see him talking to Marner, talking to Matthews. They were working on the power play for the first practice of this preseason. That's something that needs to improve. Listen, power the, play first, and penalty kill. the first press conferences said that this training camp has been hard, oh, has yeah. been tough, has been exhilarating to say the least. They have been exhausted since getting into this training camp. It was like a training camp like no other. Mm -hmm. It's it's insane. Reeves said it was one of the top two of his most grueling training camps and probably not the second one. Okay. Then we head back, we head to the Canadian Tire Center in Ottawa for the second half of a home to home with Ottawa and... In net for the last game was Joseph Wall and Matt Murray. This game had Dennis Hildebeest, the Hildebee himself, and, and Anthony Stolarz. Now listen, Anthony Stolarz played fantastic in his first game as a Maple Leaf, and he allowed one goal, by the way. Mm -hmm. And what a save by the Hilda Beast. Oh, yeah. Rejecting Brady Kachuk. You can see Brady Kachuk look up like, to the sky. Oh, like in defeat. Because the Hilda Beast is a beast. That's it. Okay. So, now, let's get right into the scores. Alex Steves getting on the board. The Steve man himself. Alex Steves. Unassisted. First goal in the preseason. He's shown us some grit. He's shown us some promise here. Then, Jay Chanderson, obviously, first goal of the uh, preseason for him, Giroux and Kachuk picking up the assist, then going into the third period. So, no goals in the second period. Third period. Zach awesome Chuck, uh, shorthanded, what a dumb, very dumb giveaway by, I don't remember his name, but I... Right in front of the net, too. He literally tried to, he was pinned, he backhand passed it into no man's land. It was you bad. don't pass if you're passing blind. You look before you pass, because you don't know who's there. Oh, who's there? Zach, awesome chuck. And he takes the puck and he just backhands it in and scores. And there's the game, 2-1 and Leafs lose again. Wow. That's fine. It was a game of Marley's versus Senators, I'll be honest with you. There were no NHLers except was, for like McMahon, Robertson, who used to be on Marley's, uh, Stolarz. Robertson, Robertson is probably going to get an opportunity, but I don't know where he's going to I don't know where he's going to fit in the lineup in game one of the regular season. If Patches mm, play this tough. good. If Patches I would plays honestly good, move pa uh, Patches ready up the line, not the fourth line. I think I think he worked well with John Tavares. Tavares. Yes, second I think line. he worked well with John Tavares. John Tavares on his wing, and Patches in the center. He said he was confident with Tavares as well. But I think Robertson has a chance in this lineup. He probably makes the fourth line in the third, the third line. Probably the third. Probably, probably around there. I think some other notable candidates. Dennis Hildeby, probably going to be the third stringer, maybe the fourth, because mm -hmm. Matt Murray's there. I feel like Matt Murray is probably going to be like the fourth stringer. At this point, like the Hilda Beast. The Hilda Master himself. The Hilda Beast. Bring him up. Bring him up. Let's, let's give him a shot at backup. Put Anthony Stolarz, put Joseph Wall, then put backup, backup of the backup as... Dennis Hildeby. The stats of this game were 27 shots on goal for the Senators, 20 for the Leafs, over 4 in the power play for both teams, 49 hits for the Senators and 37 for the Leafs, 13 blocks for the Senators, 14 for the Leafs, 15 giveaways for the Senators, 10 for the Leafs, 
Again, losing. And so doesn't we're 0 2, but. We're 0 2, but it doesn't matter. It's preseason. No one cares. Yeah. So, also, there was a controversial hit in this game. Uh, I believe it was Holmberg, yes, who took down Greg. We don't forget what happened last season, Ridley Greg. Yeah. There were no empty nets for you to shoot on tonight, yeah. buddy. Ridley Greg. But he got just yeeted down and no penalty on. I don't think there was. No, because he. Box them. No, I'm just joking. And and Ben and then Kachuk later on ruffled. Uh, I want to say it was someone I don't remember who. Don't Maybe Homer just gave him a cross check and then Benoit went after him. I love Benoit. Benoit stepping Bro, up with this, the eight on his chest this game. This Craig Berube style of I'm aggression, just a full like I felt like I was watching a late regular season game in this one. And the first one I thought I was watching. Another late regular season game, even playoff. This could have been a playoff game. Full on aggression, World War Three, just mm -hmm. World War Three on these bastards. It's great. I love watching Mr. Craig Berube in the bench. It's great. Next, so next game for the Maple Leafs. Next game is not sure you'll probably be watching this before it's happened, but it's Toronto versus Montreal I'm at Scotia Bank Arena. At Scotia Bank Arena, yes. On the 26th Thursday, then on Saturday, Hockey Night in Canada were at the Bell Center for the second half of the home to home with Montreal, and finishing off preseason next week, October 3rd and October 5th, Detroit versus Toronto, and then Toronto versus Detroit. So it's the last two weeks of preseason, man. It's gonna come fast, and then the regular season begins on October 9th in Montreal. The first home game is October 12th on Saturday against Pittsburgh. It's gonna be fun. And guess what? Kyle Dubas. The first game. And then the second one is New Jersey Kyle uh, Sheldon, Sheldon Queef. Sheldon Queef. I, I call him Sheldon Schief. Anyway. You know Italian. Sheldon Keef versus in the first game. Here we go. They're not messing around with Drube. No music in practice, grueling practices. They're in business. I can't wait to see what they, the first game said, of the season holds. We're not looking for first round, second round, conference final appearance. No, 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 no. It's cup or bust. I mean, That's it's always been, all or nothing. It's, it's always been it's cup or bust. Go big or go home. Like, I can't put this in any other words. Bro, this is the We're last We're not in it to make it time. a little far in the, le in the thing. Oh, yeah, we made the conference final. Whoopie do. No. We want the cup. This, it's end of discussion. This will be the last opportunity for the core four. No matter what happens, I this know they is keep it. saying that. I know they keep saying that, but like, it's a, it. You're literally Definitely gonna pay the contracts for Tavares and Marner. Now I'll say this, Tavares. I don't expect him to go anywhere. I expect him to resign no matter what happens. Marner, a low friend, team friendly deal because he's question. just gonna retire here. He's getting older. He's not going anywhere else. Marner, big question. Marner is the but, big question mark. He's he's. Better be stepping up this season. There's a lot. The spotlight's on him, if you ask me. 100 point season, I want to see from Matthews, Nylander, and Marner. They have the potential. They can do it. Let's go. I think they should do it. Here we go. So that's been today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll we will see you. see you next week for more preseason recaps. On the next one. Peace. Peace.